Hey man, shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. She used that WAP and had it do what it do. It's a means to an end. And I salute this move. Hit that subscribe button. And welcome to Hot Topics TV. All right, everybody. So let me just go through this article real quick. And then after we do that, we will give our own commentary or we'll do so along the way. So the 26-year-old rapper has earned Grammys and balanced her music career all while taking part-time classes at Texas Southern University to earn a bachelor's degree in health administration. Can I tell you? Somewhere in there, she had to have done statistics. For those of y'all, for those of y'all who've done statistics, you know how it is. Mm. My wifey going through that right now for nursing school, and I look at it, and it looks like um, alien language. So I'm just saying, and for Meg to be able to do all that, stand to the occasion, rise to the occasion, accept the challenge, and accomplish it. It says a lot about her. Megan Thee Stallion is a savage and she has a degree to prove it now. MSN.com Saturday, she was able to celebrate with all the necessary pomps and circumstances. Good morning, hotties. It's graduation day. Hashtag Megan the graduate. Graduation day. Meg didn't refer to herself as the stallion. She referred to herself as the graduate. You understand? That means I have a bachelor's degree and you are going to put some respect on my name. And it's not a bachelor's degree in some subject that we've never heard about. And it's not a honorary degree where you never had to attend school, do classes to earn it. So no one can crack jokes at her degree her degree is actually a useful degree and if rap no longer works out for her then she can always lean on this bachelor's degree in health administration she could be somewhere running somebody's facility sometime soon but i don't think she will be that's just something for later on in life that's the just in case you know what i'm saying just in case what I like about this is that Meg is actually setting an example for all the young girls out there that follow her. Because it ain't all about WAP. And it ain't all about twerking and shaking your ass. At the end of the day, you better have something to fall back on. And she is definitely setting herself up for a bright future, even though she's already living in a time space where she's accomplished more than so many people out there. So Megan Thee Stallion was among nearly 800 students who graduated from the historically black university Saturday. I know my parents are looking down on me so proud, she wrote on Instagram. Thank you everyone for all the love today. She tweeted a link in the live stream of her comments meant ceremony and fans celebrated the momentous occasion on Twitter with several hashtags including hashtag Meg the graduate and hashtag hot girl graduation. TSU's 13th president, Dr. Lesia Crumpton Young with one of our newest graduate Megan Pete, a.k.a. Megan the Stallion, hashtag TSU proud, hashtag Megan the Stallion, hashtag TSU grad 2021, Texas Southern University, December 11th, 2021. Now, according to this article, dressed in her black classic cap and gown with several stoles, the body rapper graced the stage to shake hands with the university's president, Dr. Lesia Crumpton Young, Megan Thee Stallion's boyfriend, rapper Fontaine or Partisan Fontaine, 
met her at the other end of the graduation platform with a large bouquet of roses. Ah, he's supporting her. That is so nice. The rapper teased the big day with a pre-graduation photo on Instagram on Friday. A lot of people were wondering what that was about. We're in a Texas University, Southern University sash and red graduation gown. She captioned the post then by saying, I want y'all to remember that you can do whatever you want to do and be whoever you want to be because look at me. Hmm. The honors continued for Megan Thee Stallion on Saturday. Now, it wasn't just about graduation for her. The honors continued on Sunday when she received the 18th Congressional District Humanitarian Award in Houston. You know, a lot of people probably think that Megan Thee Stallion is just sitting somewhere shaking her ass to beats and waiting to come up with another song. Or maybe she is busy just doing shows, traveling, you know, skimpily dressed on stage, entertaining, and that's all she is doing. And it's very, I'm telling you, this is a very powerful message because what this says to some young ladies out there is, look, I know you see me out here, barely got any clothes on. I'm an entertainer. I'm doing this. But when you see me, when you don't see me entertaining, please know that I'm somewhere quiet with a book in my face trying to better myself. A college degree is something they can never take away from you. Your education is something they can never take away from you. So once you get that in the bag, then all possibilities are open. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee presented the very important award to Megan Thee Stallion saying, it means that you have exhibited humanity and have helped without even asking. Megan Thee Stallion said that she was honored to accept the award and she dedicated it to her grandmother. It's my responsibility to take care of the city that took care of me. My grandma always taught me to be kind and giving. I learned that from her, she said, honoring her ancestors. Before Megan Thee Stallion's rap career took off, though, she was enrolled full-time at Prairie View A&M and later transferred to the Houston-based HBCU. And in October, she showed off her studded graduation cap that featured her catchphrase, Real Hot Girl. In her matching manicure, which were on theme with one hand reading TSU and the other reading 2021 in the university colors. 2021 from the graduate college, y'all. Take my graduation pics today. I can't wait for y'all to see, she wrote. Take my graduation pics today. I can't wait for y'all to see. And it's definitely something to be proud of. Megan Thee Stallion has described her college career as a roller coaster on social media, but in an interview with Harper's Bazaar, she revealed how the matriarch of her family have been the motivating voice behind her achievements. She said, before my mom passed, she really would be on my butt about getting my degree. Adding that her grandmother would constantly ask her, are you going to go back to school and get them papers? You going to go back to school and get that degree? You need to go back to school and finish up. So in addition to finishing her degree, she has also been helping fund and degrees of others by sponsoring a full ride scholarship to the Rock Nation School of Music, Sports and Entertainment for students who are interested in the music industry. Getting an education is incredibly important to me, she said. I still have academic goals that I want to achieve. So if I can use my resources to open doors and create opportunities for at least one student, then it's a victory. This is what she said at press time. In November of 2020, Megan Thee Stallion released Good News, which is her debut studio album, Good News. Now that y'all know that this girl isn't just out here shaking ass for no reason, 
or polluting the airwaves, as some people have called it. But this is actually a means to an end for her because she's out here setting up ways for other people to get higher education without coming out of their pockets with money, providing a way for others while providing a way for herself. That's dope. I don't care about what she dressed like. So you can tell your daughter, you don't have to imitate the part of Megan Thee Stallion when you see her on stage, unless you're going to be an entertainer. Because you know a lot of girls walking around out here in these streets like they're Megan when she's on stage, thinking that's how Megan is 24 hours a day of her life when it's not. So I tell my daughter, if you're going to imitate Megan, imitate that four-year degree, that bachelor's degree that she has in health administration. Imitate that. Now, in November of 2020, Megan Thee Stallion released her, let me repeat it again, released her Good News debut studio album, which focused on the power of writing your own story, and it sent a message about the necessity of listening to black women's voices. She followed up that album after resting to prepare herself for the return of Tina Snow with her 2021 single, that thought sh or thought shit. Now, I don't have to go down the list and tell you all the hot things that Meg has done since then. She was in some kind of a relationship with Tory Lanez, another famous person. She got shot in the foot and all this other extraness that went along with it. All the drama that goes along with the excitement that goes along with that Hollywood life. She's out there living that too. But it seems like Young Meg is finding her way, and the beautiful black princess is actually shining in a positive way. That's just my opinion of things, right? And I'll close this video by saying this. I know you might not be into her music. If you're not a Meg fan for her music, then fine. A lot of older, old school heads don't really feel the younger ones because they can't relate to the content. But at the end of the day, don't let that stop you from seeing the big things that they're actually doing and how they are using this art form to create a pathway for not just themselves, but for others. So before you hate, congratulate. Before you hate, ask yourself, how many people have you helped? It's Hot Topics TV, and I'll catch you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.